you for choosing Glassboard FRP wall panels. Because Glassboard is very durable and easily clean, it will last a very long time when installed correctly. This video is intended to guide you through the basic steps necessary to ensure a satisfactory installation. Before you begin your installation, please take the time to prepare the walls and panels. First, read the installation guide. The panel should be allowed to rest or acclimate for 24 hours in the temperature and humidity which will be the normal working conditions of the room. Make sure all the panels are inspected prior to installation for any defects. Do not install panels of unacceptable quality and if you do find any defects, contact your supplier immediately. Make sure the walls are dry and not dirty or dusty. Any grease or loose paint must be removed. Uneven surfaces should be leveled with a compound suitable for the wall substrate. You will need a carbide tip blade in your circular saw or swivel headed shear, a drill and possibly a hole saw. A lamination roller is also recommended. For your own safety, you need to wear goggles, gloves and a filter mask when cutting the panels. You will also need water, mineral spirits or FRP cleaner and rags for cleanup. Glass board can be installed with adhesive, non-corroding mechanical fasteners like nylon drive rivets, or a combination of both. Or matched moldings are recommended for finishing the seams and providing an attractive sealed surface when used in conjunction with a silicone sealant. Now it's time to think about panel placement and positioning. It does not recommend installing panels more than 12 feet long. It is difficult and may lead to an unacceptable installation. On walls more than 12 feet high, use an 8-foot panel on the bottom and place another panel of proper height on top, not to exceed 8 feet in length per panel. Leaving adequate room for expansion is key to a good installation. Glassboard panels must be positioned to leave not less than a quarter inch gap at the ceiling and floor and a one eighth inch gap between each panel and the center of one piece moldings. Panels larger than four feet by eight feet will require additional spacing. Check the installation guide for specific joint recommendations. When using a two piece molding, leave a quarter inch gap between panels. At least an eighth inch gap should be left around pipes and electrical fittings. In this section, we will demonstrate installation of glass board with adhesive only. When using rivets, refer to the Chemply demonstration later in this video. Now that we have our tools and planned our installation, we are ready to begin. Read the adhesive instructions thoroughly. Too little or too much adhesive is the single greatest cause of failure to adhere to a substrate. Begin by spreading the adhesive evenly over the entire back of the panel. While you are waiting for the adhesive to tack up, trim the division bar to accommodate the ceiling and base molding. Set the panel in position and firmly press against the wall. Allow additional space at the bottom if a solid curb or cove base will be installed by the flooring contractor. The bottom of the panel must not be locked in place. Apply a bead of silicone sealant on one side of the division bar and slide the molding into place. Make sure you leave one eighth inch gap between molding center and panel edge for panel expansion. Apply even pressure beginning from the top corner adjacent to the previous panel moving across the panel to the opposite edge. Continue working down and across the panel to the bottom. The lamination roller should be used for best results. Caution! A team of installers should not simultaneously work from the top and bottom toward the center. This will trap an air pocket in the center of the panel. Apply a bead of sealant in the remaining channel of the division bar and continue to install the remaining panels in the same manner. When using two-piece moldings, install the base piece and then the cover trim after the panels are in place and remember to allow the required spacing between panels and moldings. 
To clean the adhesive residue and markings from a panel face and molding, use a damp cloth and plain warm water. Dried adhesive may require a dry cloth and mineral spirits or FRP cleaner. Now that we have completed our glass board panel installation, let's move on to a Chemply panel. Since Chemply panels are factory laminated glass board and random strand wood panels, they can be installed directly to wood or steel studs. Before installation, the Chemply panels must be acclimated in the same manner that the glass board panels were. Check the stud wall to make sure it is straight, plumb, and the studs are spaced 16 inches on center. If the opposite side of the wall will be exposed to high moisture, a vapor barrier must be installed behind the studs to keep moisture from penetrating the insulation or the Chemply wood backing. Chemply panels should be fastened with non-corroding screws, nails, or nylon drive rivets. Place fasteners every 8 inches around the outside edges and every 12 inches on the intermediate studs. Stagger the fasteners on the opposing panel edges next to the division bar to give a tight, flat seam. Fastener holes must be pre-drilled oversized by 1 8 inch to accommodate normal panel expansion. A bead of general purpose construction adhesive should be applied to each stud just prior to installing the panel. First install the top row of fasteners and allow the panel to hang from the top. To install fasteners, use the drill bit size recommended by the manufacturer and drill into the substrate through the setter of the pre-drilled holes in the panel. Apply a dab of sealant in the hole, then insert the fastener and tap down the pin. Again, work from the top edge across and down the panel. Install the rest of the fasteners in the setter of the pre-drilled holes working out from the corner or edge adjacent to the previous panel across and down the panel. One-piece moldings can be used following the same procedure as with glassboard panels, or a flat batten can be installed after panel installation is complete. If flat battens are used, generously fill the 1 8 inch expansion joint with silicone sealant and press the batten strip into the excess sealant. The room is now done and looks great. You can rest assured knowing it will continue to look great for years to come. If you have any questions or need additional support, 